The first tale of Shadow King concluded with the evil warlock lord battling the young hero atop the Well of Souls, far beneath Castle Shadowgate. The warlock lord had summoned a bee, the behemoth from the netherworlds, and with this creature under his power, he planned to conquer the world. But with a blast from the fabled Staff of Ages, the young hero broke the warlock lord's control over the beast. The behemoth turned on its former master, and the warlock lord was dragged down into the netherworld by the very creature he sought to control. The young hero, now king of the land, realized that the power within Shadowgate would always tempt those who would use its magic for evil. So he became the first of a dynasty, the Line of Kings who took it as their mandate to keep safe the power of Shadowgate. The second tale of Castle Shadowgate is that of Prince Eric, distant descendant of the young hero, whose father now protects Shadowgate. Prince Eric has for many years traveled abroad, gaining wisdom and preparation for the day when he assumes his father's role. Now, in his 18th year, a message from his distant homeland reaches Eric. It is from his father's new advisor, Balazar, and it bears grim news. My liege, it is with great sadness that I inform you that your father, King Erend, has been murdered. While your troops search the land for his assassin, you must return home and assume your rightful place on the throne. As his ship steers a course towards Cal Torden's shores, Eric's thoughts are of the family he left behind when his journeys began. He remembers his country, Cal Torden, a land of great beauty as well as potential danger. He remembers fondly his father, King Eren, whose wisdom and kindness has guided Cal Torden for 30 years. And perhaps most fondly of all, he remembers his younger sister, Elizabeth. At last, Eric reaches Kaltorlin, his birthplace, and now, his kingdom. His grief over his father's death is all but forgotten when he sees how his beloved sister has grown in his absence. Eric is introduced to Balazar, his father's advisor. While well, Balazar seems charming and intelligent, Eric still feels a strange unease about him. With a shrug, Eric dismisses his odd apprehension, and they begin to discuss Eric's coronation. But suddenly, two soldiers seize Prince Eric. The assassin has been captured, they claim. And the villain says he was hired by Prince Eric himself. Couldn't wait to seize the throne, eh, Prince? Shouts Balazar as they drag the bewildered prince to the dungeons. You'll wear no crown without a head. And this is how Eric's greatest adventure and the second tale of Shadowgate begins. <laughs> Get in there, you scum! Oh, Eric! Elizabeth! I know you were innocent, my brother. Something evil has befallen the kingdom, and I don't trust Belazar. I keep thinking of poor father. <laughs> I'll have to find a way out of here. As the last of the line of kings, I'll avenge father's death, I swear!
son. There is more to the events of the last few weeks than the murder of a king and false arrest of his heir. There looms a far greater threat which you must ultimately face within the walls of Shadowgate. I will be with you when I can.
free to go. Yeah.
Good day. Are you the keeper of the bridge? Mm, it's my bridge, all right. Nobody passes until they pay me. I watch the bridge all the time, day and night. That's my job, watching the bridge. Don't have anything else to do, just the bridge. Watching it. Well, hey, just standing here doing my thing. Actually, I've been working on a song about a lost temple out in the woods. 
Don't seem to be able to get the melody quite right, though. Just have to keep at it. I've heard there are bandits on the roads, so when you leave the city, you should keep careful watch. Thanks for the warning. Good day, priestess. Ah, it's the young prince. My, you're the image of your father when he was a young man. I am Margareta, priestess of this Temple of the Dawn, where mysteries of the ages reside in harmony. I knew your father very well, and I have grieved over the terrible end that befell him. But you... You can mete out justice to the evil ones who terrorize the kingdom. With the courage of your father and the wisdom of your ancestors, you can defeat them, Eric. I have here the pendant of the elements, the sign of the line of kings, a symbol of harmony. It may save you from an evil spirit in some dark hour and will help you gain entrance to Shadowgate. Here, take it.
I guard this castle entrance, and you may not pass. I serve my master, Belazar, and at his bidding kill those who seek entry. My master is gone now. Hmm. I am tired of killing, and he cannot bid me do anything because he is not here. So maybe I will not kill you, but you may not pass. Enough to ride that pack beast right there if I want to. I'm sure you can, and I bet you're a good rider, too. Yes, and if monsters come to our town, I'll just jump on that beast and ride away before they can get me. But right now, I'm gonna go get some candy. every day. They're speaking now, but you must have the power to hear them. You can enhance that power with a small monetary offering. <laughs> If you get the secret password in the dungeons, tell it to the bartender. Welcome to Charlie's House of Gems. You got a gem you want to sell? I'm your guy, the fairest gem trader in the kingdom. Ask anybody. Hmm. Now that's not a bad one. Not bad at all. Here's some shiny new gold for it. Thank you, and goodbye.
old for helping out an old lady. You know when you get old, the vertigo gets you. You lean to the right and the old body just keeps going. I'm so glad you came along to help me. It was no trouble at all. What's this? Oh, why, that's my family album. Let me show it to you. In this album are pictures of all my relatives, beginning way back with my great Aunt Ophelia. You see? Here she is on her wedding day. My, wasn't she beautiful? I remember when she used to take me on long walks in the meadow. And my, my... <laughs> Just look at this dashing young man. That's my Arthur, the day he came to our cottage to ask for my hand. Oh, wasn't he something? And you see, there's my little dog, Ruffy. He was my favorite friend as a little girl. And there's Uncle Horace and Cousin Charles and Sister Ruth and Great Aunt Matilda with her pet goose. And my friend Beatrice on my father's horse. Now, that horse usually liked the men more than the ladies, and one day he nearly threw Beatrice over the high prickly hedge out by the meadow, but... And here's some gold for helping out an old lady. You know when you get old, the vertigo gets you. You lean to the right and the old body just keeps going. I'm so glad you came along to help me. It was no trouble at all. Goodbye. Day, young man. You must be new to this countryside. Well, you've come on a fine day, or it would be, except it seems something isn't quite right. Just this afternoon, for example, I saw our former king's aide Belazar with the young princess Elizabeth, and she appeared distraught. I just don't know what to make of it. Strange happenings in our fair land. <laughs>
I have the fastest turtle in the kingdom. A gold piece to anybody whose turtle can beat mine. Come on, who's going to take me on? I'll take you on. I have a turtle. Where's your gold? Here's my gold. Okay, let's race. Looks like my turtle won. I'll take that gold now. I don't know what happened to that turtle. Here's your gold. Yes, uh, Rosebud. We are members of the Cal Torlan Underground, and we meet here when we think it's safe. We know you didn't kill your father, Prince Eric. We know it was a plot by Belazar to gain power. His evil henchmen are everywhere, and people are afraid. He's been asking a lot of questions about Shadowgate. <laughs> I'm Leo, and you're in Leo's Curio Shop. Want some extra gold to line your pockets? I have a magic box here, and I want you to take it to the sage in the woods. He'll give you a note, and you bring the note back to me. You do that for me, and I'll pay you. Okay, that's fine. Like the name implies, my shop's full of curiosities, and you can have any of them for a price. Except the furnishings, of course. Let's see, today I can offer you a ball of magic yarn, a special comb for coarse hair and such, and a squeaky toy mouse. <laughs> I'll bet you had something like that when you were just a little kid. It's a squeak toy. Sounds just like a real mouse, doesn't it? Looks like one, too. One piece of gold for it. I'll take it. Here's your gold. <laughs> ah, now that's a special comb for coarse hair, like beards, for example. You got a beard with tangles in it? That comb will get them out quick as a wink. It'll cost you a gold coin. I don't know what I'd need it for, but, but I'll buy it, just in case. That there is a ball of the yarn of Ariadne, which is a special magic yarn. Felines especially like playing with it. Corms their nerves. It'll be one gold coin.
That's a fair price. I'll take it. Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, who are you? How did you get here? By the bridge? Then you must have the crank they took from me. Have you the crank? If you will give it to me, I have something for you. I've given you a foreign language phrase book. If you meet someone you can't understand, try looking in this book for the words you need. I'm so glad you happened upon me here. I prefer to live alone, but I do need to get out now and again to dig for roots or collect wyvern eggs. Yes, yes, I'm a happy hermit now. Well, I'll be going now. Thank you for the phrase book.
virilissimo servicio magnanimo et mucho gratuosimo. Well, let's see. Young man, you have done us a great service today, and we are very grateful. Demonico meloro, executio villaggio, si existo uo. Um, these evil demons would have killed us all had it not been for you. Mayoro gifto, magico pipo, sumano spirito, approximo verdo. <clears throat> I'm giving you some enchanted pipes which you can use to call the fairies in the druid wood. son, Balazar has taken Elizabeth out of the city, and even now he boasts to her of his evil plans for her. Although he hasn't harmed her yet, I fear this will change when they reach their destination. Through her thoughts I see a deep forest and a mountain range beyond. Hurry, my son! I will continue to try to reach her, and will tell you when I know more. <laughs> Stop, sentries. Let him pass. When I was chained in the castle dungeons, he set me free. Were it not for him, I would be dead. He is Eric, son of King Arond. We must help him.
am Iphicles, king of the fairies. I have been watching your progress for some time. What is it that you seek? I seek the evil Belazar and my sister, whom I believe he has taken captive. Ah, I can help you if you help me first. My daughter, Princess Alessandra, is also in great danger. A goblin shaman has captured her and holds her in his temple in the woods. I am powerless against the shaman. I need the help of a brave young mortal. I'll do what I can. You dare interrupt my private ceremonies? You dare threaten the shaman? You will die a slow death, and the young Alessandra can watch! <laughs>
Ouch! Birds! Don't know where they come from. Wish I had me some d boss for getting birds out of me beard. Ouch! Ouch! This comb works just fine. That hammer I gave you, it's magic. Certain enchanted objects react to it in surprising ways. <laughs> If it isn't another unfortunate traveler, give me your goal and I won't kill you.
Hello, my boy. Hello. I'm the Sage of the Woods, professional problem solver and repository of wisdom. I've been waiting all day for a courier to deliver a magic box, which my friend Leo in the city has been positively stymied by. Thank you, my boy. Thank you. For saving my life, you'll gain a piece of my wisdom. You must find the magic sword, which can only be used against the fearsome warlock lord. But you must wear the royal gauntlet before the sword can be yours. The task ahead of you will require the intellect of an heir to the line of kings. Good day, my boy. Just working with mortar and pestle here, thought the smithy might need a poultice for his foot. Dropped a set of hot tongs on it. Of course, he was flustered by the news about his relatives in the village. That's how he did it. <laughs> he got word that the village was attacked, and that smithy left in such a hurry that he left his tools outside. Said anybody could have them. He wasn't sure when he was coming back. They're right outside there. I think I'll just finish this poultice mixture anyway. You never know when somebody might need it. <laughs> well, have a pleasant day, and goodbye. you my prince although you're grown now and look very like your father our beloved king ah prince eric things are bad in the kingdom very bad belazar's evil has changed this kind and peaceful land into a fearful place i've heard a rumor that he has taken your sister my prince 
since his henchmen lurk everywhere. No one had the courage to follow. I now have more than my father's death to avenge. <laughs> My son, you must listen carefully, for my time is short. I have sought to contact your sister as I contacted you, but a mystic barrier separates us. Although I cannot cross it, I can sense her terror clearly. She is in terrible danger, and I cannot doubt that Balazar is involved. Find her, Eric. Find her. <laughs> That sage has the gift. Gives me little tips on horses now and again. Always win, too. Here's some gold for your trouble, like I promised. <laughs> Now that's not a bad one, not bad at all. Here's some shiny new gold for it. Thank you, and goodbye. Certainly welcome in my pet shop. I've got some unusual pets here. Yes, indeed. Something for everybody. You can buy anything but the monkey in the barrel. He just loves popping in and out of that barrel when he hears a customer. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Ah, 
Now, that's a piranha. Ever hear of those? Well, by golly, those little jiggers can eat your arm in seconds. Eat your whole body before you know it. Don't want to go putting your hand in that water. Just for you, a special price. One gold coin. A canary. Now, that's a pet that everybody can enjoy. Just listen to the sweet sound it makes. Doesn't eat much either. A very economical pet. And for you, one gold coin, will buy. That's Max, man's best friend. You knew I was going to say that, right? But it's true, especially retrievers. You can count on them through thick and thin. Real people dogs. The thing about retrievers is they always come back. Just to show you I'm a nice guy, I'll give you Max for one gold coin, a bargain. That's fine. Here's your gold.
The great seal! It's young Eric! If you hadn't come along, my boy, I might have been frozen for eternity. But listen well to me. That pendant of the elements you wear is a mirror image of a flaw in Castle Shadowgate. You must find that room and solve the puzzle engraved in the floor. Moreover, in a nearby place, one of your royal ancestors hid the Staff of Ages but the pieces have become scattered over the years. If you can find the pieces and put them together, you'll have the means to defeat the Warlock Lord. May the spirit of your father and your ancestors stay with you, my boy.
not save you in this darkest hour. I think it in the fairies' power. The pipes that call the fairies nigh, their tones resounding in the sky. The pipes may have the power to save, should death confront the young and brave. <laughs> For victory by a royal heir, sword and gauntlet must you bear, or staff of ages now made whole will shield you from the well of souls. But first most basic earth finds use to solve that which would e'er confuse. The elements represented there are earth, water, fire, and air. <laughs>
Before you may cross, you must choose one and only one thing to bring with you. Choose it now. So our young hero has finally awakened, eh? For a moment I feared you would sleep through my final triumph over your pathetic race. Uh, Belazar! Why, Belazar, why? Why did you betray my father? He trusted you! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, the poor old fool. He offered me everything a man could want. But, I'm not a man! Now, young prince, I have the power of Shadowgate at my disposal. Your sister's life will seal the bargain which shall return the Warlock Lord to this world. <gasps> Elizabeth, no, not her! Belazar, you can't do this! She's just a child! What is another human to me, boy? Besides, when I return this world to its rightful reptilian masters, the magnitude of the slaughter will make this small sacrifice seem pale by comparison. Oh, fili me bonum belli no. dominus forbiscum, no. oh, sed etiotis domino! No. He says, ne ho opus cum musis deditus no! non sin nosco. Awake, O Lord of Warlocks. No! Arise, and together let us reshape the world. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've done it! I've done it! Devour the girl, child, Warlock Lord! and consume her soul. With your power, I will conquer this world. Oh, I'll devour the child in due time, Changeling, but first... No! No! <laughs> and now, my child, I'll devour you body and soul and the blood of the line of kings will set me free from this accursed exile. And your brother will make a fine meal as well. With both your souls a part of me, my power will be indomitable. The forces I will gather shall ravage your world. All of those who would oppose me shall be ground into the dust. In fire and agony, a new age will begin. The Age of the Warlock Lord! And now, my child, let us concern ourselves with my first dish. Oh, don't look so frightened. It will only hurt forever. <laughs> The doorway between our worlds is closed to me now. Avenge me and save all you hold precious. Ah, Prince Eric. That's right, Warlock Lord. It's time to end this madness once and for all. Oh, and just how do you intend to foil my plans, little hero? With this! <laughs> Their father avenged, and the world safe once more. 
Eric and Elizabeth race to the surface, leaving behind the well of souls and the vanquished warlock lord. They reach the open air just as the wizard Lakmir, freed from Balazar's imprisoning spell, unleashed all the sorcerer's powers at his disposal, hurling spell after spell at Castle Shadowgate. The skies boiled, the mountains shook, and mystic energies crackled in the air. The earth below the castle gave forth thousands upon thousands of thorn-encrusted vines which slid like serpents up the rough brick walls of the ancient castle, weaving a deadly wall of green around Shadowgate. Finally, after the last brick disappeared into the living wall of thorns, each vine gave forth a single red rose. The spell was complete, and Shadowgate was sealed forever. With the death of Balazar and the defeat of the Warlock Lord, the soldiers who had remained loyal to Erond came out of hiding and took up arms against the hideous creatures Balazar had summoned to terrorize the land. Led by the prince and princess, they destroyed the last of Balazar's monstrous allies, and the land was at last at peace. The countryside safe once more, Eric and Elizabeth took their rightful places on the throne, and side by side they ruled the land. The task of undoing the damage Balazar's schemes had wrought was a long and difficult one, but Eric and Elizabeth soon proved themselves to be fair and wise rulers, and justice was restored. Inheritors of their father's wisdom and benevolence, the two were quick to restore Kaltorlan to its former glory, and under their enlightened rule, the people prospered. For ages afterwards, scholars and historians would tell of the mighty empire forged by the dual monarchy of Eric and Elizabeth, and bards would sing of their adventures. The line of kings was at last restored, and would forevermore stand guard over Shadowgate. Before you may cross, you must choose one, and only one thing to bring with you. Choose it now. Ah, Prince Eric. That's right, Warlock Lord. It's time to end this madness once and for all. Oh, and just how do you intend to foil my plans, little hero? With this! Before you may cross, you must choose one and only one thing to bring with you. Choose it now. Ah, Prince Eric. That's right, Warlock Lord. It's time to end this madness once and for all. Oh, and just how do you intend to foil my plans, little hero? With this! Before you may cross, you must choose one, and only one thing to bring with you. 
choose it now. That's right, Warlock Lord. It's time to end this madness once and for all. Oh, and just how do you intend to foil my plans, little hero? With this! Excuse me. Are you crazy? I'm about to begin the climactic battle between good and evil, with the fate of the universe riding on the outcome, and you give me nothing to do it with but a lousy... <laughs> What's this? Oh, why, that's my family album. Let me show it to you. In this album are pictures of all my relatives, beginning way back with my great Aunt Ophelia. You see? Here she is on her wedding day. My, wasn't she beautiful? I remember when she used to take me on long walks in the meadow. And my, my... <laughs> Just look at this piece. It's a little girl. And there's Uncle Horace and Cousin Charles and Sister Ruth. And Great Aunt Matilda with her pet goose. And my friend Beatrice on my father's horse. Now, that horse usually liked the men more than the ladies, and one day he nearly threw Beatrice over the high prickly hedge out by the meadow, but...
Give me nothing to do it with but a lousy... Ah! <laughs> 